Welcome to Trans Series, a show where we talk about everything Transformers. I'm your host, Jason, and let's get down to this news. So today we're going to be talking about the new movie masterpiece Ironhide and Barricade figures that are going to be coming out soon. And images to these are going to be in the description so you can check them out. Now, let's go start off with Ironhide. Now, Ironhide in vehicle form looks gorgeous. It looks really good and spot on to the actual truck in real life. Now, I'm going to note, these cannons, do not worry, they can come off. According to Comic Can's channel, he said they can come off, so I'm just going to go with his because he is a bigger channel. And I'm just going to say, yeah, because why would you keep these permanent guns on, you know, if it's going to be a movie masterpiece figure? And because, like, masterpiece is in the name, you know, you don't have any flaws with it, you know. You want to have the best engineering into this piece. Now, with the tires, I don't know if it's just lighting or they actually put dirt effects onto the tires because they look really accurate. To the movie and i think they use this dirt because remember in the ending where he was on the dirt path when he was driving up by lennox's house so we can see his family and his tires were kind of dirty so i think they did a good job replicating that is that what they were going for now the gmc and road armor look spot on same as the grill and the headlights and the top lights i forgot what they're called if you can comment that down below that'd be great but those top lights look really good i wish they were blue just because of the Voyager 2007 one, I like the blue better, but yeah, what you gonna do? He has an Autobot logo, and behind that Autobot logo, I think that's supposed to say Duramax Diesel, because I do have the Repo labels for my Leader Class Iron Eye figure, and it does say that there. And this side does not have the vent, if you're wondering, because the vent's only on the other side. And in this shot, you can also see the 4x4 logo, which looks really good. Now let's go look at the side shot of Iron Eye. And with this side shot, it looks still really good. Now you can see a vent over there, the Autobot logo's gone. You know, I kind of think they did the Autobot logo for like contrast, so it looks different, which I do like. And you can see that really big gun, which will be able to take off when you do transform fully. And the tail lights for this look really good. And the 4 times 4 logo looks beautiful. Look at the amount of detail into that tire. It just looks realistic. Like, you could put this on your desk, and let's say your friend comes over. He doesn't know anything about Transformers. Just take the guns off. You know, he would not even know it's a Transformer. He would just, like, say, oh, you like GMC Top Picks? That's cool. And also, in the trailer bed, I think that's what's called the flat bed, it's full. Yes, I don't 100% like that because in the movie, I believe it was empty, like a regular pickup truck. Kind of like a 2007 dropkick, but which I also have. He's a good figure, so pick him up on eBay if you can. Now, these two pegs, I don't particularly like them, but what are you gonna do, you know? It's a transformer. It has to transform. And same with the panel line, you know? You can't have everything perfect, but they tried their best. Now, let's go look at a full back shot. Okay, in the back shot, we can see this Autobot logo, which he had, and I really like that because that's something that's very iconic to Ironhide's character in vehicle mode well in my opinion and you can see the 4 times 4 better you can also see the GMC logo that's on the uh, door hinge I'm not sure if it's a door hinge but the thing that goes down on the truck put that in the comments if you know and the thing with the back piece is you can see his feet like his toes I don't 100% really like that but like I said earlier it's a transformer it can't be 100% perfect now, what I also do like, you see under that tire, I mean, over that tire, there's like detail. And I think that could be like the springs and stuff. Like, I don't know that much about cars, but I know it's like suspension or something, which that is really cool. And I do like that added idea. Now, let's go move on to robot mode. Now, this robot mode just looks gorgeous with the head sculpt. And we'll start with the head sculpt first. And with the head sculpt, you can see like his damaged war scars. We I think it's really cool. He also has those Cybertronian logos on the top of like his horn, if that's what you want to call it, which is really good and close attention to detail. Also, his mouth is articulated, which I actually didn't think they had to do that. But hey, it's an extra bonus, so why not? Because you kind of make him like talking like when he got shot. You know, it is accuracy. You know, maybe you could do your leader class Sentinel Prime versus Ironhide. And I think that'd be pretty cool for stop motions with this guy, because I believe you can get a lot of motion out of these masterpiece figures, like the uh, Bumblebee version that I saw on off the bottom of channel and it was really good now let's look at the chest piece it looks spot on to the cgi render especially with, like those tires in my opinion i think the tires are actually a little bit like too out but i believe you can push those back in it also has like those gear things on it like on above the tires that held them in together which i think is really good and overall this thing is a real build especially with the cannons you know really big that's like iron Hide's character like his prized possession was the cannons now i don't know if you're going to be able to like to spin them around like he did in the 2007 movie my weapon Specialist Ironhide. You feeling lucky, punk? Easy, Ironhide. Just kidding. I just wanted to show him my cannons. 
but if you can now be great but we don't know for sure i doubt it because of the way they're built because you can see on the uh right cannon he has this piece that's actually hanging off that's not connected to it physically well it could be but i don't know if it's actually connected to it physically i have to see it in a better image it kind of actually looks like now that it can actually pop off because it looks like it has this peg so i'm not 100 percent sure but i know the guns can come off and he'll transform to a regular truck but nevertheless the cannons look still good even with that piece that kind of looks out of place now with the feet the feet look really good and i hope you can like move like his toes like when mojo peed on him you know it's just for extra detail you know just to get more out of it like for stop motions and stuff and i think these ones they hit the market are gonna be selling like hotcakes especially ironhide because a lot of people are ironhide fans and also if you look by the uh middle section on the bottom and you can see the top of his feet he has tires actually inside there which i think that is super cool and i believe when he transforms somehow those tires come out similar to how bumblebee was in the masterpiece series because no bumblebee on earth until that point that could transform had the tires perfectly in there and I very appreciate that they actually went to extra detail to somehow engineer it and do that, which I'm definitely going to pick this guy up out of everyone. He's my favorite so far. Now let's go move on to a back shot of Ironhide. And yes, this is a mistransformed Ironhide. So what we see is there's a piece like hanging off on like his right area. Now I don't think this is 100% transformed because if you see in this image, his chest is like open up and it's the same image but from the backside. So I don't think this is fully transformed like the official picture. So I would not worry about that piece. Now with the smokestacks, I do like how to actually fold down and there are a separate piece because I thought they would be connected to the arms like most Ironhide figures were but I really do like that and he does have like this back piece too with it he had that hood piece with the blue lights yes he doesn't have that here but you know they always have to sacrifice stuff to make the best out of the toy so I think they did a good sacrifice because it's not that really big of a deal because his back is pretty you know slim which that's what i wanted also when you see in the back of the legs it just looks perfect with the toes and the side where it says the four times four they did this well of a figure for ironhide yes i was very shocked with optimus and bumblebee but for ironhide who's like more complex character design in my opinion they nailed it on the head i also found this underside image of him when he's in tmc top kick mode and you can see his head but you know for an ironhide figure that's kind of the thing because with all ironhide figures that i can remember you can see his head under the vehicle i don't know for the 2007 one but i know for definitely with the dark of the moon one that was the case and his chest piece is there and you can see the tires now what's actually cool about it is there's a piece that looks like it's connected to it so like i said earlier how it was inside that inside piece i think that folds over the tire and that's how you get that look which i think that's very clever they did now let's go move on to barricade now with barricade's police car mode it looks really really good now in this picture the hood does look to be a different black but i'm not 100 percent sure if that's going to be in the final product because we don't have it on sale yet but i would not be concerned about that because i think it's going to be all the same color because it's just an image so they could have just screwed it up now this vehicle form it looks spot on to the 2007 movie and i think everything from the movie masterpiece is only going to be from 2007 yes optimus prime at the matrix but you know that was just an added gimmick like how bombie had his battle mask and how iron hide's mouth can move now i don't know what his gimmick's gonna be but i think we'll get into that later when he's in robot mode now still looking at the vehicle mode you can see this really big panel line through it like through the decepticon thing and the door now i honestly don't really like that but maybe the guy who transformed it did not line up correctly because i remember a lot of people were having issues lining up the optimus prime with the hood but Engo did a video on how to do it properly so that could just be the same case here now we can see the two in punish and enslave 643 and 911 on here which looks really good i do not believe he comes with frenzy which i wish he did because you know just as an added bonus but i don't think he is and i believe the human alliance figures are gonna scale really well with these so just use your human alliance frenzy now here we are in robot mode now the first thing i see is he has a lot of blue now, I am not a big fan of this blue because in the vehicle mode, he doesn't have blue except for like the lights. And in the CGI render, he never had blue. Now, I hope this is not going to be on the final product. But besides that, all the other paintwork looks really, really spot on. Also, on his chest piece, you see how that piece goes like bending in down a little bit? 
I don't know if that was just a mechanic they used like for the plastic to bend. I don't know how they did that, but I think that is really cool because Barricade's chest was like kind of a mess in my opinion. I had like all these like weird parts, you know, you couldn't really distinct it was a police car besides that big fat grill piece. But you can also see those uh bottom bumper pieces tilted up over the headlights and I think that's really cool how to do that it's kind of similar what they did with the human alliance figure but this one looks a lot better also that head sculpt it looks really good I like how the silver pops I also like how he has that um copper bit too which kind of breaks it up and he has those red beady eyes which look really cool also in this picture we can see one of his hands have a spike ball and other images I'll talk about this now the spike ball this does not transform with him. I know some people may be disappointed, but look, how would you transform that many spikes into it? Some serious engineering, but the hand is actually folded up under here, and then this is like a separate piece that plugs in. Kind of similar to what they did with Bombi's gun blaster. Now the thing is, because this is such a big piece, I don't know how they're gonna fit this in vehicle form. Same as Ironhide's um, cannons, that's why it was like hanging off. But I don't even think this can plug in a vehicle form, I could be wrong, but we'll have to see and wait. Now here's the image I was talking about. You see how it's off? And that piece, it kinda looks like a stand for it, but it's actually the whole assembly. Because you would fold it out, and that's how you would get your piece. And I think that's really good, making a stand for it. You know, I don't think the plastic on here is actually the final thing because we saw in the other image that it was gray. So I think it's actually a prototype version, but you know, I could be wrong. Now we can also see a top part of the vehicle form with the headlights, which looks really cool. He also has the police deco on his tail light, and we can also see better on his hand or arm piece. Now it looks really accurate. I also like the back piece on it. The back piece is like really flat. His door parts are up there, which looks really accurate to a CGI model. And I think they're replacing that for what they did in the Human Alliance figure with those hood pieces actually going up. And the thing with the arms, the only thing I do not like is he has this like this hole, you know, this open bit. I don't think that's 100% accurate, but you know, you have to sacrifice for the greater good to make it look good. But in all honesty, it doesn't look too terribly bad. His hand looks really good. Now let's go look at another image, and in this image it's an even better shot of his face. But this one we can actually see the chest a lot better. Now this one surprisingly actually has that front bumper piece. So I don't know if they mistransformed it or what, because this is coming from the same people who took pictures of the Ironhide. So we don't know if this is actually fully transformed, but I do like this version better with the bumper on him. And you can see his face. Now I think his mouth may actually move up and down, because like the Human Alliance one did it. and. I also see like his beard piece, or maybe that'd be his mouth, he also has copper there. And his headlights, you know, they're actually blue. So these images are different from the stock image and the one that was in hand. Also here is another image of the full body shot, and also I forgot to say that these hands are actually articulated, so that's really cool. Now remember what I said about that hole? Well it's actually being covered up by this glass bit. Now the reason why I said it was a see-through hole is because this glass part is see-through, so I actually thought it was a hole, but that's actually not the case. So that's really good, that's actually all one piece and not like a big gaping hole. And also, I really do like the pieces that he has like on his shoulder bits. It does remind me a lot of the Human Alliance one. Now, I did remember that they did reuse some parts of the Human Alliance Optimus Prime. I mean, not Human Alliance. I knew they used parts of the Leader Class Optimus Prime to make his feet, so that's why his transformation is so similar. But I think they may have done that with this, just because those pieces look really similar to the Human Alliance one from Barricade. But I'm not 100% sure if they actually reused them. Well, that's all for this piece of news. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Trans Theories. Please like, share, and subscribe if you want. Just show me some support because I really enjoy what you guys have to say. And if you have a theory you want me to cover, just leave a comment down below so I can do a video on it as soon as possible. Now, next video is going to be taking a little bit longer to do because it's going to be the Constructicon Misconceptions video. And because I'm going to be covering everything about the Constructicon, it's going to take a little while. So there may not be a videos for maybe like two days. So you guys know. Well, this has been Trans Theories, signing off.